Apostolic Christian Assembly Perambur Ministries present Truth for Growth a daily devotional program. God bless you as you prayfully listen to this brief biblical teaching for your spiritual growth. Now, Pastor Adam Samuel Ingerton will bring to you the infallible word of God. Shalom. I bring warm greetings to you in the wonderful name of the Lord Jesus Christ. The true delight is in the finding rather than in the knowing. Today I want to share with you about taking delight in God's word. Studying God's word every day, is it a delight to you or it has become a mere duty? Check yourself this morning. If it has become a mere duty, then your spiritual blood pressure is below the normal. It is a serious matter which needs immediate attention. Psalm says in Psalm 1 and verse 2, But his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law doth he meditate day and night. Here the psalmist says that a blessed man has his delight in the word of God. Further we read in Psalm 119 verse 47, I delight in your commands because I love them. The word delight is a bright, cheerful, and exciting word. When we delight in something, we feel as if our whole being experiences a warm, joyful feeling. Delight brings happiness to our soul and lifts us up from despair. The opposite of delight is depression. When we do not have anything to delight, we get depressed. When we delight in something, we find ourselves irresistibly drawn towards it. No one needs to compel us to do such things. To mention a few examples, eating delicious food, a chocolate, an ice cream, driving latest new model car, meeting our loved ones after a brief time of separation, etc. These things occupy our thoughts and our emotions. It keeps coming to our mind often, and each time it comes, it is like the sun peeping out from behind a dark cloud. This is what the psalmist means when he mentions of delighting in the word of God. Commenting about this, John Beveris writes of his experience as follows. My daughter gave me an unusual birthday gift this year. A big cover inside which were 12 small cards. One each little card, she had artistically written a Bible verse for the month. 12 verses for the 12 months of my next year. She told me that I was to memorize only one verse per month. She asked me to meditate upon it and delight in it. I find that as I recite these verses to myself each day again and again, God's presence comes as a radiant, warm sunlight flooding my whole being. It is truly a delightful experience indeed. Dear friends, do you have such a delight for the Word of God? Does it occupy your thoughts and emotions all through the day? If not, why not make it your delight from today onwards? The Word of God is sweeter than the honey. It is more precious than thousands of pieces of silver and gold. It gives us life, peace and comfort which nothing or no one in this world can give. It heals, guides us and restores us because it is not human words, it is the word of God. So let us enjoy the richness and delight in its sweetness each day of our lives. The saintly man Job in the Old Testament says in Job chapter 23 verse 12, I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. Shall we offer a brief prayer this morning? Would you join with me? Loving Lord, I delight in so many worldly things, but let me not neglect your word, but read it again and again and meditate on it, become delighted by the life, joy and peace it gives to my soul. Let me delight in your wonderful preserves and let its brightness invade every part of my being. In Jesus' precious name I pray. Amen. God bless you and God be with you.